Hello and welcome to the more advanced tutorial for Astronomer. This tutorial uh, shows a, a new feature, uh, sort of a somewhat hidden feature, um, not presented in the other tutorials, um, but you do need to have a, um, a math uh, engineering background a little bit to be able to understand this. Um, not really complicated, but you do need to understand uh, basically graphing things in polar coordinates. In the previous tutorials, the extra degree of freedom you to provide a gear phi was provided by allowing it to vary the center of rotation of the, of the planet gear. However, and this was actually my initial approach to Astronomer, you can use equations in the polar graphing mode and the parametric graphing mode and you can actually insert the parameter v into your equation and v will behave and be graphed exactly as the other as the other um, it will behave and be graphed exactly as it was in the other mode except now it will be varying the center of rotation it will be varying the equation that generates your gear. Let me show you one that I found to be effective. 1 over quantity 1.01 plus v cosine t. This is an ellipse centered at one of the focal points. Now when you graph, it will insert a default value of v equals 0 0.5, which is about the middle of the range, middle of the road. When you go, to the astronomer tab, now it shows you what is your equation. It has 0.5 as a default, but you can drag the slider and preview the different values of v. Now, note it will scale the graph based on, uh, sorry, it'll scale the image based on the size of the gear. So it may appear that the uh, the size is changing when it may actually not be. It's just adjusting the the view. Anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and search using the default parameters. And this time it's altering the equation using used to generate the gear. Click there. Perfect. Calculate planetary gear. All the principles about, you know, the rotation ratios and what the graph represents everything, it's all the same. The only difference is that instead of varying the center of rotation, it's varying the equation that generates the gear. One thing, however, that you need to be aware of, or an additional option you have, and this is uh, useful, but you have to understand how it works, um, otherwise you can, you can confuse yourself. Symmetry. If I have a gear that looks like, say, 3 plus, or what do I want? Three uh, 1.01 plus v sine 3t. This gear, no matter where, no matter what value of v I choose, it's going to have three repeating patterns. It's going to have radial symmetry about the center. This is the one instance with the polar graph that you want to to actually use this value here. In this case, my rotation ratio denominator is 3. This has to do with uh, symmetry, which is explained, uh, I think, in other tutorials and in the Gearify user manual. Um, the denominator of your rotation ratio has to be the symmetry of the gear. But as a, as a mathematician, as an engineer, you have to realize that no matter what value of v you, you uh, use, because of the equation you entered, because of that sine 3t term, you're always going to have the symmetry of 3. Now you have to know that as a fact before you even touch this. Likewise, if I have, um, you know, sine 4t, etc., um, type of thing, symmetry of 4, no matter what value of v I have, 
Therefore, I am willing to say use a, use a denominator of 4 in your rotation ratio. Um, that can be helpful. Now, I will say, though, it is not easy to find planetary gears in this mode. It takes a lot of searching, it takes a lot of patience, um, a lot of experimenting. But you can do it. You actually can do it. Um, you can create spiral-shaped planetary gears um, and other stuff that uh, isn't quite as easy in, in the other mode. Um, but you can, and you can create things with a lot of symmetry. Let me just see what happens. I think it's possible to find one for this. No, that one was successful. Let's try maybe six to nine. The other thing is that even if you do find an intersection, no luck with that. Even if you do find an intersection, the resulting gear may be so messy or, you know, the, the, the tooth calculation may, you know, may just be very, um, very ugly in the result. So it takes some experimenting, it takes some time to find, uh, find the right combination of equations, um, or, you know, just, just the right equation, the right combination of rotation ratios to get something, something interesting. Um, now, parametric equations mode is uh, also where you can, something where you can insert a V. Um, using this, you could easily mimic the uh, standard astronomer mode, because if I add a parameter V here, for example, 0, 1, I can create an equation where basically the variable parameter is uh, sort of this offset from the center. It actually does change the center of rotation for that one, just because I'm using a parametric equation. But yeah, anyway, that's that's the gist of it. Um, really, this uh, the symmetry thing is you know something that most of the time you won't use. You only use it for the polar design mode, where you are sure that it will have a specific symmetry for any value of v. So there you have it. Um, you can experiment with different equations. Um, I may post a list of equations that I have discovered over time uh, that have been successful. Um, if you really want to see some of them and I haven't posted them yet, you can just email me. I'll send you a few of them. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff out there, so I, I encourage you to go out and explore and, uh, you know, find some interesting equations and, and send me, you know, send me your results if, if you find something that, you know, you think is really cool. All right, thanks a lot, and uh, please enjoy Astronomer, and let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you.